Oh, yuffie Lola. Lola got a haircut. I tell you that I'm walking out to the sunset. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So I spent my day today at the robbery. Today was a good day. I kind of like, I was in a little bit of like hermit mode, a little bit inside of myself, like, you know, turtle mode. I didn't feel like really talking to anybody. I listened for a good part of the morning. I had my earphones on because I was listening to um, a podcast. It was really interesting. It was about, um, <clears throat> the podcast was about real magic. It was really interesting, really, like, like really interesting. I'll put a link if I remember below. And if I don't, then you can ask me for one if you want to watch it, and I will. But I think I'll try to remember to put one in there. And it was really interesting. So I think it's about a two hour. So maybe I was listening to it. I don't, I don't remember. It doesn't matter. But today was a really good day. And then I came home and I was, uh, I went over and I had a conversation with my father and I recorded it. And I think I'm going to start making podcast recordings with my father where he tells about history because he's an historian. And he's writing a book. He's been writing it for the last, and it seems like we've been saying 15 years for a lot, a lot of years. So I think probably 20 years, but it's his life work. Um, and he knows history like no one else that I know because he's self-taught. He didn't have the... Uh, guidelines of the academia so he just went in and learned all the ancient books and listened to what they said um, so, so I think I'm gonna do some podcasts of, of him I anyway it's a treasure for the family to have so I was really excited I got home and I went over yesterday I also did a, a recording or two and today I did a couple of different recordings about different things and it's really interesting. So I think I'm going to do a couple of podcasts like that. So I'm changing up my channel a little bit because I don't want it only to be about the twin flame journey. I, uh, you know, there's so much more to me than just that. And... I want to be free to express, you know, and I also talk there about other things other than the twin flame journey. So I also want to be free to, you know, it's my channel. So free to put whatever I want to. You know, it doesn't, I don't want to be all about this twin flame journey. Sometimes it feels like that's all my life is about because it's so overwhelming and so powerful. Look. The sun is like getting right ready to go down. It's even started a little bit. So I don't want to, or I want to, see I'm, I'm watching my words. I want to feel free to do whatever I want to do on my channel. It's my channel. I get to do what I want. And I don't want my whole life to only be about this twin flame journey. I want other things. I envision myself doing other things and, and filling um, what I've come here to do, which is also the twin flame journey, but there's so much more. And I feel like that is where I'm being led to be. Because on this twin flame journey, you can't, it's, it's, it's like, this, this is just so pretty. I'm going to turn it around so you can see the sun is right behind that tree. I'm not sure that you guys can see it quite like I see it. Actually, I'm sure you can't because I can see that you can't. It's beautiful. You're going to have to take my word for it. And that's the Sea of Galilee there behind me. So, so I'm changing my channel up a little bit. 
and get everything under one roof. And under one name. So today was a good day. Today was a good day. You know, every day has its, I don't know, these mind loops that you go back and forth and here and there and this and all of a sudden this. And then I was just in the afternoon, I'm walking around like with this feeling of pain in my gut and I'm thinking to myself why are you feeling this pain what what is it what is it and it didn't even come with like reasons it's just pain that's pain and I think that part of going part of uh, old trauma of going through you just can't see it I'm not going to turn it around more. I'm just going to enjoy it you just can't see it like it looks. The sun already went all the way down. That is just so pretty. And it smells so nice here. So, I think that this is like... This is a new era. This is a new, a new time because it's it's me not only being about that. I feel like it's one more step in me in the direction of me, like in the direction of wholeness. So this I will show you because there's cows down in the field. See, there's the sunset. And look, the whole, oh look, it's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, leave the house and you get to see beautiful, beautiful things. Okay, so I am going to end this here. Today is a really, really, really good day. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to enjoy the last few minutes of light of the sunset that there is and watching these cows and feeling the wind. So this is just magnificent. So I'm gonna stop this here and I'm going to enjoy myself much.